Ay. Whichever bitch want it, come get it. I got it. I'm giving. I work. I'm apply. These yeah. bitches talking that shit and ain't saying my name. And I can't keep just letting it fly. No. They got a sub. Yeah. They got a tweet. <laughs> they got to go get their hunger for me. Mm. If I was still doing broke shit, would you bro? Hi, my name is Breon C. Dunham. I am a photographer and videographer, and this is art, music, and clothes. I am my biggest inspiration. I love me some Key Glock. I love Key Glock. I love human dogs. Um, it's like hustlers music, you know what I mean? And I don't like that. I just, I just resonate with it, you know. <laughs> it made me want to get up and, you know, sell a pound. I'm playing off. <laughs> but it made me feel like I could if I wanted to today. I don't care if it's my first time or not. We <laughs> get this 30k or however much a pound cost. I don't know shit. Let me stop. I'm not about that life. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, Keith Lock, Young Dog. Um, I like Doughboy. Oh, I love Webby. It's UGK. Uh, Sexy Red. I love me some Sexy Red because she's just like herself and she just be, you know what I mean? And the music that she makes be popping. And it be getting easy. Like, right. Oh, like, like, <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion. I love Beyonce. That's like by default. I love seeing women like Sexy Red. Like I love seeing women like Ice Spice. I love seeing women like Megan Thee Stallion, Lotto. Um, I love. I just love seeing women like just be all about their shit and their business. Be like, I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Where's my money? That's why I like my friends. I have to take this moment to like, I love my friends. They um, they have been with me through thick and thicker and they have seen me like at my, my lowest. They've seen me at, I wouldn't even say like my highest, but they've been with me through my highs and my lows, especially within like the last like couple of years. And you know, I, even though like it's funny because like we're all in like different industries uh so it seems uh i still have like their massive support on everything like no matter what it is that i need or no matter what i'm going through if i need help or if i'm like hey what you think about this shoot or like i can always count on my friends to be honest with me and to keep it real with me and to like love me you know and vice versa of course like it's a mutual relationship so it's Luke uh, chapter 11, verse 11. And it's super simple, but it's like, it's definitely, I've been holding it near and dear to my heart. But it says, uh, I'm gonna read it from verse nine. It says, so I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. Which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if, he, or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Don't ever be afraid to to ask God for whatever it is that you need. You know, don't ever be afraid to knock on them doors that, you know, go to rooms that you know that you deserve to be in. Don't ever be afraid to dream big. You gotta be thinking big, bitch. So it's just like that verse to me where it's like, I also think about how sometimes I used to be so afraid to ask God for these because I felt like they were too out of my league or I wasn't worthy of them, or, oh, I didn't do enough to deserve it, and this, that, and the third. And it's like, I am worthy of those things. And I am worthy of fulfilling all of my heart's desires. So is they are aligned with God's desires for me. And I know for sure that whenever I get an idea or like a big idea, or I'm like, ooh, I'm wondering this project could be in the Menil or, you know, somewhere in galleries in London and this and the third. And then I double back and I'm like, girl, please, 
But it's like, if I got that idea, like that didn't come from me, that came from God. So clearly I'm meant to have those things. So don't be afraid to ask for the big things. Don't be afraid to knock on the big doors. You know, don't limit yourself just because yours, you feel like you're not worthy of having those things because that's not true. Bold, strong, ambitious. Honestly, I would love, like, I love Issa Rae. I would love to work with Issa Rae. Like, I'm so happy for her and how, I'm very proud of like how far she's come and like where she started and like how big of a career that she has like built for herself. Um, but I would love to work with her, especially because I have gotten like, you know, people be like, oh, you know, what character do you think you are? And I've gotten that I'm Issa. So <laughs> I relate to her. I started rewatching Insecure just recently. So, but I think like, I think working with Issa would be pretty dope. Like I know that we could come up with some cool shit. Honestly, I think my mental health has been one of the most rewarding things to come from my craft. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I feel like growing up, I didn't really have enough safe spaces to express myself. Um, I've been through a lot of things and I just didn't feel safe or I didn't always feel safe um, to really like say how I was feeling. And I think because I didn't learn how to verbally express how I was feeling um, I started like lashing out a lot and I don't think I had enough like creative outlets to express or maybe I didn't have the right creative outlet to really just express like where I'm coming from or how I'm feeling. So I didn't learn how to verbalize my feelings and my emotions as a child because whenever I did, I was not not really all, all the time, but by people in my life that I'm always around. Like, you know, they're shutting you down, they're gaslighting you. And, you know, as a child, it's just like, well, maybe I'm crazy for feeling this way. So you start gaslighting yourself, you don't say anything anymore. And so it's, I never learned how to appropriately verbalize my feelings. But when I started, um, you know, shooting and, uh, doing photography and videography, I learned. I think I was really in, in the beginning just doing it because, oh, I can make cool pictures, I can make cool videos. But over the last like few years, you know, the stuff that I said that I've created that I wouldn't release, those are my expressions of where I was in the moment. And I'm learning that I can, um, that my art has been a, a huge, contributing factor to the to my well-being and to my overall wellness um but especially my mental health because it's taught me to not only create what it is that I'm feeling right now or taught me to create a feeling or an emotion and um kind of bring it out in other people when they see the work but over time I learned how to express myself verbally through that you know, even when I'm just planning a project, I'm like, okay, one of the first things I ask myself is how do I want people to feel when they see this? Like, this is this is what I want to look like, but what do I want people to feel? And it's kind of like I'm manipulating it in a sense, like, cause I want to bring an emotion out of people, but even just knowing like, how do I feel? How do I want other people to feel? How can I bring that feeling to life? And then writing it down and really just saying it aloud and reading it, that is what's taught me how to stand strong in my feelings and to express my feelings and verbalizing it in a much healthier and appropriate way rather than lashing out. And that is a wrap. Thank you so much for having me on Art, Music, and Clothes. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Brion C. Dunham, B-R-I-O-N-N-E, C D U N H A M. Um, and for booking, you can hop on my website, www.brioncdunham.com. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.